A warning for parents tonight after Sugarland police say two suspects tried to abduct a girl as she was riding her bicycle to school. We're told the suspects were wearing ski masks when they flashed a gun and told her to get in their van. This happened near Colony Crossing and Elkins Road. That's just blocks away from Fort Settlement Middle School. That's where we find our Sally Mamdu tonight. Sally, a terrifying situation for that girl. Bill, it's certainly any parent's worst nightmare, the attempted kidnapping of their child. Now, this incident happened at this intersection right behind me here, which is not too far from a school, which is terrifying for parents tonight. So I actually try to run every night around this time. But tonight, Felix Yao is watching over his shoulder while he runs. But just being a little bit more cautious and wary of my surroundings. And he's not alone. Neighbors in this Sugarland neighborhood by Colony Crossings and Elkins Road are all keeping an extra eye out. So I put out a message on next door just to alert all the neighbors. Neighbors are on edge here because Sugarland police say a Fort Settlement middle school student was almost kidnapped while riding her bike to school. Police say the student was a approached by two men wearing ski masks. The suspect were in a burgundy van right by Colony Crossings and Elkins Road. One of the suspects showed the student a gun and then demanded she gets in the van. The student screamed for help, went to the school, and reported the incident. Harry Rao lives near the intersection. He says the area is typically safe, but he's not taking any chances with his little eight-year-old daughter. We were planning to actually have uh, her bike from here to school because you know, we just thought she's, she's in third grade and she should be able to manage herself. Now, that's definitely uh, something that I'll be thinking about. I'm not, I'm not terribly sure now anymore. <laughs> so I'll still continue to drop her off in my car. And right now, this is right now under investigation by Sugarland Police. Anyone with information should call police. In Sugarland, Sally Mamdouf, KPRC, Channel 2 News.